Okay, so we've done spring, summer, next, autumn, that's it. So we're going to use the same techniques, basically, slightly different colors. Background's already painted. The sky is just a shade darker this time, and we're going to start with a purpley color. So blue, cobalt blue, some crimson, and tone it down with a little bit of burnt sienna. Touch of white. So, stipple in the background, bring that down to the bottom of the trees, larger tree there, and bring that down to the bottom. Just hold the brush upright and stipple along like so. Wash the brush out, squeeze the water out, and we put a lighter colour on the top of the trees. So, being autumn, it's going to be uh, more of an orangey colour, so white, cadmium yellow, and some permanent rose. And just <laughs> try this out first. Just drag that very, very lightly over the surface. It just catches the top of that tree to there. Same with this one. Just stipple. A little bit more pink, so permanent rose. Put some of that colour into the foreground. Wash the brush out. Then with the half rigger, a dark colour, burnt umber, ultramarine. And just put a hint of some branches and a couple of tree trunks into there. light colour. So here into that dark area we can add another tree trunk like that. For the main tree some hooker's green and some olive green. Stipple. And with a lighter colour some of that onto the sunlit part of the, the ivy. With the half rigger, burnt umber, I've just put that into that purpley mix, which is cobalt blue, crimson, and burnt sienna. So I'm not using just brown, it's more of a, um, a muddy, purpley colour. Start to paint in the tree, trunk, and branches. So hold the brush upright, let the paint flow through the brush, and on the left hand side, paint out. We use the golden leaf brush and with some burnt sienna. So I'm going to make a, a reddish purple colour. So a little bit of blue and some crimson. And stipple. So this time we're, we're seeing through the tree. Obviously some of the leaves have come off. Let's put some of that colour at the bottom of the tree as well. Wash the brush out, squeeze the water out of the brush. Cadmium yellow, permanent rose. Let's try a bit of crimson and some white just to make it a little bit lighter. Okay, so just very gently, lightly stipple. Change the colour slightly. Bring that in front of that background tree. Not too much colour on the shady part of the tree, so just put a little bit of bright colour, but uh, not too much. And on the ground. Then some white, more of a goldy colour, so add some more yellow to it. And just brighten that side of the tree. And again, just a little bit of a fence. A 
And there we have a very colourful autumn tree. And finally, we have a snow scene. So again, background's already pre-painted. I'm going to start with the distant trees. And so we need a, a greyish colour for this. Uh, cobalt blue, some burnt umber, touch of white. And again, just drag the brush down to the bottom of the, the tree line. Stipple, pull the brush down, just streak it down a bit. With the half rigger, a darker mix of the same colour, so cobalt blue, burnt umber. And just paint in a few tree trunks. I'll just make this slightly darker with a touch of ultramarine instead of cobalt blue, just to make it just a bit stronger. And this time I'm going to use the, the foliage brush. And I'm going to use some white with just a touch of cobalt blue. And just lightly stipple some snow over the top of the trees. And the same colour just through that field. We'll just let that dry off. Next is the, uh, the ivy climbing up the tree. Hooker's green with some olive green and push the brush into the paper, nice and dark. Right, there's the ivy. Then uh, a bluey grey colour, so cobalt blue, burnt umber. Push the brush into the paper and just very lightly tap onto the surface of the canvas Bring that down, burnt umber, overlap the trees in the background, and then we let this dry before we put in the uh, tree trunk and branches. So, burnt umber and ultramarine, so it's quite a dark colour. Start to paint in the tree trunk and the branches. They fan out up to the top of the tree. A little bit darker, so burnt umber, ultramarine. A good tip when you're painting trees like this is to always paint in the direction that the tree grows. So start from the bottom and paint up. That uh, tapping and graunching sound is actually my little finger. I keep my finger straight like that, that rests on the board and I paint like that. So my finger actually steadies my hand. So that's the basic tree shape. And then we stipple some snow over the top, so with the fan stippler and uh, some white and a touch of blue, but mostly white. And just very, very gently stipple. So just bring that down. Just a little bit of snow in the middle, and then a bluer colour, so some cobalt blue. Blend that in on the shady part of the tree. Half rigger, again, fence. Then with some white and a touch of blue, just put a little bit of snow sitting on some of these branches and put some snow on the fence. With the foliage brush and some white, just finish off there. Well, we've lost the footpath. <laughs> there we are, the last of the four seasons. As you can see, most of the techniques I've used in all four seasons are pretty much the same. We start off with the trees in the background, possibly a little bit lighter, don't be afraid to paint your main tree in front of and on top of your background trees. Most of the, um, the branches are painted in before we put the foliage on, apart from the summer tree where we painted the foliage first and then added the branches on top. But pretty much it's still the same techniques. Very, very simple, of course.
now available to buy. Try these techniques at home whenever you wish. The extended version of today's workshop and the book that accompanies this series are now available to order from the Painting and Drawing channel. For further information and to order your copy, go to www.paintingdrawingchannel.com.